Today, I'm going to read The Littlest Mummy, written by Brandy Doty, illustrated by Michelle Lisa Todd. May was a mummy. She lived with her family in the spooky woods. There were many mummies in May's family, but May was the littlest one. It was almost Halloween, and May was excited. This year, she was finally old enough to join her family's dance team at the big Halloween bash. She couldn't wait. She just had to learn their special mummy dance routine. First, May's big brother, Mike, coached her on her moan. She took a deep breath and groaned. But it sounded like a whisper. Louder, May, Mike shouted. But May was groaning as loud as she could. Mike shook his head. You're not loud enough. Your voice is too little, he said. Maybe the twins can help. <clears throat> May knocked on the door to her twin sister's bedroom. I need help with the dance, she told them. So Marnie and Melissa showed May how to shuffle. They shuffled slowly in rhythm, dragging their feet across the room. But when May tried, her little feet tangled in her wraps. She fell in a heap on the rug. You're way too little, Melissa said. So small, Marnie added. How sad. May found her dad in the garage. He was building a special coffin. I can't do the mummy dance, May sighed. Nonsense, her dad boomed. Let's see your scary face. So May stood up extra tall. She put on her scariest face she could muster. Her dad laughed. That's pretty cute for a scary face. May frowned. Do I have to do the mummy dance, she asked. May's dad wrapped around her in a big hug. Not if you don't want to. <clears throat> but why don't you go see your mother? She might have an idea, he said. May's mom was in the basement. She was making extra tattered wraps for the big night. Your wraps are ready, May's mom told her. They'll be perfect for the dance. So May tried them on, but the wraps were too big for her tiny body. She looked like a pile of toilet paper. I'll have to make some adjustments, her mom said, looking worried. May wandered through the spooky woods. She was sad. She knew there had to be something special she could do, even if she was little. May sat down on a log to think. Just then, she saw something crashing through the trees. It was a witch, and she was little, just like May. The witch flew from her giant broom right in front of May. Hi, the witch said, brushing herself off. I'm Wilma. Hi, May said. Are you okay? Wilma sighed. I'm too little for my broom flying demonstration. <clears throat> May nodded. I'm too little for my mummy dance. Wilma smiled a big smile. At least we'll have each other at the party. May smiled too. Soon Halloween night arrived. All of the spooky woods was celebrating. But when it was time for May's family to start their dance, May stood in the corner and watched. She didn't want to dance. Wilma stood next to her, holding her broom. May's family was really good. The mummy dance finished, and everyone clapped. Then the crowd was quiet. Too quiet. Music started playing, but no one danced. Nobody knew what to do next. The mayor seemed nervous. May looked down at Wilma's broom. She had an idea. May led Wilma to the other side of the dance floor. Let's do the limbo, she said. Wilma had one end of the broom and her black cat, Tiny, held the other end. Wilma shimmyed under the broomstick. She and Wilma left. So did the whole party. When it was Wilma's turn, a line started to form behind her. Everybody wanted to limbo. The Halloween party was a smashing success. All thanks to May and Wilma. May might have been too little for the mummy dance, but she wasn't too little for her own special thing. And more important, she was not too little to make a friend. <laughs>